ever trying this Nespresso machine. It's called a Verturo Espresso machine, this one. So I'm extremely excited. I love espressos. Freshly frozen ice cubes. Oh. Are you gonna brew? Hello? Oh, you have to wait till it's green. Yes. Nice coffee. Mmm, yes. What I'm having for brunch is some sunny side up eggs over some oats. So as you already know from the title of the video, today is the first day of school. It is the first day of my second year. Mmm. I'm so excited to see everyone, catch up a little bit, obviously be in class, we're going to sim lab to start off the day. D2 year compared to D1 year, our biomedical science class, which is like our didactics, change from four days every week to two days every week, and then the extra time we have, we're going to be going into sim lab and clinic a lot more, because in less than a year time, it's creeping up, but we're going to be treating real patients, which is unreal. This is the most excited I've ever been for a module. This module is on aesthetic dentistry. So the lecture topic is evaluating and treatment planning a patient for cosmetic restorations. I completely forgot to film the intro. What is up guys? Good morning. How are you doing? My name is Jack Han. I am officially a D2, which means dentistry second year at UCSF. Welcome to my vlogs. If you like watching vlogs, if you like learning about dentistry, if you like me, go ahead, smash the subscribe button. Let's get on with the day. I'll see you guys in sim lab. So what I'm doing right now is I'm replacing the nice teeth, the perfect teeth that was in our Typodont, this is a Typodont, with the teeth that needs veneers. We were given seven and we have to replace four on the maxillary and three on the mandibular. Thing we're gonna do, we're gonna adjust the occlusion. It's gonna adjust the mandibular portion of the occlusion. I use articulating paper, and pretty much you're just drilling out the darker bits. Make sure your time management is on the tray first. Update, I just got approved for the occlusion. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make impressions of these two set of teeth. Here. I did four scoops of powder and I'm gonna do two of these cylinders of water. Then I'm gonna load it onto the tray and take the impression. Nia, we're missing some sass in this video. You mind doing your thing? No longer going to the sass What? That is your personality. So after you get it wet, you do this type of technique. 
What is this technique called, Mario? When you do no like idea, boom, bro. boom, the double press. <laughs> All right, from the back of the tray to the front of the tray, back to the front. I'm gonna put some extra on the clusal of the teeth, then some extra on the facial. Press down, even pressure. <laughs> oh man, it's finally starting to come. How are you doing? Fourth time the charm. <laughs> no way, is that actually your fourth time? Actually, I have <laughs> Yeah, hold this for three minutes. Everything's so time sensitive. And then I just pry it open. One time. One time, baby. One time. Fuck! I forgot to put adhesive. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's gonna come up. No! Uh, uh, they're li my, they're I'm gonna. Mic yeah, it might. Mic work. <laughs> this mission just got a lot more risky. I forgot to put adhesive on the tray, so the impression might come off of the tray, and I need the impression to be on the tray. I need it just to come off the teeth here. Here's the moment of truth. Oh. Oh, would you look at that? Yeah, that was easy. Stay it on the tray. Let's go, baby. Sweet. Let's see what the doctors have to say. But before we ask the real doctors, let's ask what the sass monster has to say. Miss Sass, any opinions? Looks good. Oh. Yeah, I don't see any bubbles and um, yeah. I don't know why she's being so nice today. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see what the real doctors have to say. Alright guys, big moment right here. Let's see if we get some positive or negative feedback. For extra good luck, let's go ahead and click the like button on three. Alright, one, two, three. Let's see if that worked. Hi! Yeah. <laughs> Photobomb? Yeah. Do you mind taking a look at this? What do you think? This, th this is... Amazing! Oh, there you go, baby. <laughs> Wait, but for real though, for real. Oh, <laughs> let's go! Oh, no, look at this one. Good job. Yeah, thanks, bro. <laughs> All right, now we're let's do the lower. Make sure you uh, when you press down when you uh, uh, mix in back and forth mm -hmm. against your palm. Very good. Okay. While the ball is moving. Not gonna lie, this takes serious Very elbow grease. <laughs> Why do you adjust now? <laughs> so can you that occlusal, okay. facial. So you're not gonna find a pore. Catch me here late. Today's Friday. Oh my god. Yeah, I was gonna. <laughs> so I'll catch you on Monday. <laughs> Alright. Moment of truth. Oh. What do you think? Perfect. Nice? I think so. Alright, if Andrew right. says it's nice. Oh, no, no, no. I thought all of mine were nice and I've, I've redone it four times now. So. <laughs> yeah, you're just too strong. You're pressing down way too hard. So much pressure. Chill, no, honestly, it just, chill. It just like starts to set. I don't know if that's going to be a good Hi, doctor. Hello. Alright, you capture all the soft and hard tissue anterior. So you need to kind of uh, remove the artifact after you're poor. It's doable. But you need to know where to adjust and remove the artifact for occlusion. Right, and just I can just like pop it with the yeah, scapula, right? Yeah, with instrument, right? Uh, right. click cord, or things, instrument shock to flip it off. Okay, okay, okay. So this is fine. This fine. Okay, thank you. Uh, Moist paper towel and pour it as soon as you can. Okay, right? so like, don't pour it now. Yeah, he said don't pour it now. Decided to do it real quick. Yeah, he said don't pour it now. Under time pressure, honestly, I find doing dentistry super accelerating. I feel alive, as silly as that sounds. Hello. What's up, man? What's up? Yes. We're famous, bro. You want to get in this too? <laughs> and perfect. Just got back. It is currently 1 p.m. So I'm going to log in to our UCSF email where I'm going to find the link to today's Zoom. We log in on the laptop. Then there's a notification on our phone. We have to prove it on our phone as well. Then we get into the website. So yeah, I'm gonna listen to this lecture. You can use a pretty good amount of lidocaine before you reach local anesthetic toxicity, which is a real problem which can kill people. So we like lidocaine for the ability to give a lot of it. Cut to a multitasking montage. Not only do I listen to lectures and can cook, I can do it at the same time. This skill has taken my whole life to hone, and as you can see, 
have become quite the master of this art. Just kidding guys, so studies have shown that the brain has actually evolved to only focus on one task at a time. So the human brain cannot perform two tasks that require high level brain functions at once. What actually happens when you think you're multitasking is that you actually rapidly switch between the two tasks. Thank you for listening to my TED talk and enjoy the rest of the video. Just finished lunch. It was really good. Um, it is 2.30. So we're learning about the different nerve blocks right now. It's kind of a review because we went through it in BMS last year. Right now we're talking about the infraorbital block. We talk about which parts it would get numb. We're talking about the injection site, exactly where that is, how far in to go, the depth, as well as the angulation that we want to go in. Remembering to aspirate the needle, all these things. So, so during my 15 minute break, I chose to shower, um, get ready for like an event later on in the night. And I'm really happy that the whole class got back on here again because if you didn't participate in this orientation, you weren't going to clinic either. Right now, Dr. White is talking about all of the, um, you know, requirements and trainings that we have to complete. What he's talking about uh, includes many, many different trainings that we have to renew every single year in order to study and also to perform dentistry. I hooked my laptop up to my monitor though, so it looks like this. Boom. Boom. I think being up to date on technology is really important in terms of efficiency when you're studying and you know you want your machine to keep up with your brain. If you take radiographs, fall, winter, spring, in radiology, you use this P0210 code. Okay, so I want to show you this because it will give you a good representation, at least for preclinical activities. This is exactly what we're going to do for this first quarter of D2 year. I'm not going to read it all out, but uh, you can pause if you want to see what um, a second year dental student at UCSF does for preclinic class. Avail yourself of this wonderful course and do the work and learn a ton this quarter. All right, uh, that was uh, the wrap up. I'm not gonna lie, I am moderately overwhelmed. I can tell that I'm gonna learn so much this quarter, which I'm really excited for, but the course structure itself is a little bit more confusing to follow than all the courses last year, so I'm just gonna have to stay on top of, you know, looking at the calendar, knowing exactly what I need to complete, and there seems to have pre-work before every single uh, class, so I need to keep up with those. And we're gonna learn a lot and get ready to treat actual patients, that's why we're in dental school. For the rest of the day, I'm gonna do some trainings. I'm gonna print out some pictures because I'm on class board. I need to put those up, maybe edit it a little bit, and then I will do something social for the rest of the night. If you guys made it this far, thank you so much. Much love to all you, and I hope I gave you an entertaining and realistic look at what the first day of dental school was for my second year. I will see you guys in the next video.